optimizing vermi technology for the treatment of black water. And under this project, I sought to assess the effect of solid loading rate at startup on the performance of black water treatment. My name is Pito Uswenchi from KNUSD Ghana. Considerable work has been going on on the science of vermin composting, particularly on newer substrates and newer worm species for decomposition. But issues around process design, operation, and optimization are by large still unaddressed. Under this study, I sought to establish a basic design criterion that is the effect of feed application rates on the waste processing rates of the biofuel toilet technology using worms and quail. To do this, the biofuel toilet technology was subjected to three different loading rates designated as light, moderate, and heavy. The establishment of these loading rates were based on 10, 15, and 25 users per the biofuel toilet system per day. To undergo this study, I had to set up a number of miniature digesters. Here you can see them lined up. Under the study, I also seeded the box with a constant weight of the quar and the earthworm. Fecal matter was obtained from a close-by public toilet on a daily basis. And out of this, I weighed the different loads of the feces to represent the light, moderate, and heavy. The startup performance of the BTT was assessed during which the waste processing rates were measured twice in a day for a week under the different loading conditions. Earthworms were obtained from my vermiculture and a constant number of 50 worms was used to seed each of the digester boxes. Now the experiment was conducted under two conditions. One representing the micro flush, where approximately 500 ml of water is used for flushing. And the full flush, where approximately 6 to 9 liters is used for flushing. So here you can see the hand sorting of the worms during the experimental setup. And then this also shows the measurements during the experiment. More to determine the weight losses due to the decomposition of the fecal matter. As part of the study, a control was also established where the same number of digesters were set up under the various conditions representing the light, moderate and heavy more to compare the fecal decomposition with or without the earthworms and quail. At the end of the study, Samples were taken from both the experimental miniature boxes and then the control boxes for analysis. The samples were taken to the lab and analyzed for both the organics the fecal coliforms and E. coli. The experiment is due to be continued in the case 2 where a continuous application of fecal matter would be used and monitored 
over a period. Thank you very much.